What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video here at The Bad Philosopher. I am Rick Knight. Uh, in this video, I would like to talk about the recent events in the Carolinas with Hurricane Florence. The death toll is now up to 16, uh, plus the flooding and property damage, and now it's being reported about looting, which is typical that happens in uh, situations like this. If you've seen, uh, if you've been on social media, I'm sure you noticed that there's been a lot of videos and memes floating around making fun of the Weather Channel. Uh, I've seen quite a few pretty funny videos of uh, people, a parody of the, the scene where the reporter is walking outside and he, he's having a hard time walking and it's raining and it's wind and he's holding, holding the earpiece and the mic and he's, he's talking loud because of the wind and he's staggering and it looks like he's gonna blow away and then Right behind him, you see a couple of people walking past, and they're completely, you know, uh, not bothered by the weather as much. So, um, it, I mean, it's obvious the man was exaggerating. Uh, why he was exaggerating, I mean, I don't like to play the guessing game. I don't like to um, try to mind read. I'm going to guess that he was probably just trying to sell it. He was trying to sell the situation, probably just trying to bring some drama to his, his reporting. And it was probably something, you know, on the lines of that, um, you know, the simplest explanation is usually the right one, Occam's razor. Uh, the man was just being dramatic. You know, people tend to do that, you know. Uh, but what I would like to talk about is, you know, with this situation, um, anytime you have a situation like this, um, there's always people on the opposite side of the political spectrum that kind of sees a situation like this as a good chance, a good opportunity to take shots at the their opposition. So what, I'm, what I mean is when something like this happens, um, I, 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 I'm always curious to what does one side wish the outcome would be? For an example, will people on the left hope that there's high tragedies and you know a lot of damage and 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 this becomes a, a real serious uh, um issue and um hope that the trump administration and and fema drops the ball on the on, on the uh, relief effort uh similar to the way they claim the hurricane in puerto rico was uh, you know i always question the motives or, or the thinking of people when something like this happens, you know, do you want this storm in the Carolinas to cause serious damage and, and high loss of lives? And then, uh, um, you know, the federal, you know, emergency management agency um, fumble the entire relief act effort in order for you to put Trump on, you know, in the hot seat. Uh, and and I, I've said the same thing in the past when other tragedies has happened, when, when it was, you know, when Obama was in office, when when, when anyone, when, when Bush was in office, when Clinton is in office, I, I always looked at it that way and I always said, I, I wonder if the other side wants this to be bigger than what it is and if they want to use this as, a, as, as a, um, a way of saying the other side fumbled and they messed up and they don't know what they're doing and they don't care about the people. Um, I'm expecting when the relief effort, um, which, which is on the way already, I mean, it already started, the, the hurricane came a day or two ago. So I'm expecting to see all over the news that um, Trump and his administration don't care about the people in the Carolinas or they only care about a certain type of people, a certain you know, group of people and not the other. I'm expecting this to pop up on the news. Hopefully it doesn't because it would be a lot better if we don't use this as a political, uh, uh, you know, uh, another way of... Um, just turning this into a political situation when, when this is not, this is a humanitarian uh, uh, issue, we all have to come together. So I just wanna say that, it, you know, this way of thinking is something that happens. And, and you know what, I, I think I, I really noticed it during 9-11, uh, uh, being a New Yorker and it happened here in, in New York City. So I kind of noticed that it, it did become political. I mean, naturally it was, you know, being that it was, it was terrorism, it is gonna be political, but I noticed that um, it, to me, it seemed like there was quite a few people that were kind of happy that it happened. You know, almost to say it happened because of them 
and it's their fault and, 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 and I'm happy it happened to show that it's their fault and we can point the, the finger at them. So I'm glad that, you know, 3,000 people were murdered just to say that, you know, it's your fault. And, um, and, I, and, and I, I believe that that's how people think in, in, in a lot of ways. And this is another, um, you know, another classic example now that a hurricane, another hurricane hit, hit the Americas. You know, are they going to use this as a way to say, well, this is Trump's fault. I mean, Trump didn't bring the hurricane. Trump's not going to be there to, to, to actually physically do the relief effort. There's agencies and there's government officials that are, are there operating and, and, and running the whole relief effort. Um, and those men and women that are doing it are, you know, whatever political side of the spectrum they're on, they're on. It has nothing to do with, with who's in office. Um, you know, they're going to do what they do, whether, they, whether it's a good job or a bad job or whatever happens. It's, it's not because of political reasons. Um, although in Puerto Rico, it came out that um, almost a million cases of water was found. Plus, there was a lot of food found that, and none of this was distributed. It was just sitting in a lot somewhere where it could have been distributed to people in Puerto Rico who, who needed it. Um, you know, again, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, so I'm not going to say that any of that was done with intent to make Trump look bad. I believe it was incompetence. I, I believe that they, they dropped the ball because they're, they're humans and humans are incompetent in many ways, especially the more complex a, a system is, the more incompetence we'll, we'll see within that, you know, within, within that system. So I'm pretty sure that what happened with the, you know, this newfound... Uh, um, relief uh, 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 material that was sent to Puerto Rico that uh, it was just gross in incompetency. Um, but the problem is that they used that event to point that Trump, even though just recently uh, Brock Long, an administrator with FEMA, came out and said that he has serious doubts over the death toll that we've been told about in Puerto Rico that it wasn't as high and that all academic studies was all over the place in terms of numbers and they couldn't get a, a direct uh, figure. So it's political, it's, it's all political and it's at the expense of the people who are suffering. Uh, the men, women and children in Puerto Rico suffered because of this hurricane. They don't deserve to have a political game played against them just so one party can try to make the other look bad. 16 people died in, in the Carolinas. It doesn't matter who those people are. It doesn't matter what color they are, what language they speak. It doesn't matter who they voted for. These are human beings. Um, family members, multiple families and their members were affected by this storm. Um, they don't deserve to be used as a political tool to make another party look bad. So. That's all. I just wanted to put that out there that every time there's a tragedy like this, it's always used as a political tool to make, you know, whoever's in office look bad, to make whoever is in charge of the relief effort look bad, whoever that agency has to answer to. If it's the opposing side, they have to make them look bad. And, um, you know, this is, you know, typical mind state. So you always have to wonder, you know, does one side, regardless, Democrat, Republican, it, it, my side as a libertarian, it doesn't matter. You always have to wonder, does one side secretly want this destruction of human life just so the other side looks bad? Well, that's all I got for you. I just wanted to throw that out there. If you uh, have any questions, comments, if you agree or disagree, comment, hit the like button, subscribe, uh, hit the bell. Uh, if you want a video response, ask me any question and I can respond to you in a video. Um, and that's about it.